I've maintained for the last two years that Bryce Harper is going to be a four hundred million dollar player. Is, 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 am I? Am I too light in that estimate? What do you think he's going to make on the open market? Well, I'm with you. I think the meter drops with a four. That's where it starts. I mean, when you think about Stanton's contract, you think about Zach Granke as a 32-year-old pitcher getting $33 million a year on average annual value. This guy's going to be a free agent at 26 on a Hall of Fame trajectory. I mean, come on. He's going to sign for about 11 or 12 years. I, I do think the number starts with a four. And I also think, besides Bryce being a great player, uh, as I said, a Hall of Fame track. I think he's what every team would want in his day and age where he's an everyday player. He's going to play 80 games at home rather than start 15 games. And he's a great investment for a franchise on the field and off the field. He's one of the, I want to say, three or four people. I don't know what you think about this, but three or four people could walk down the street in any city in America without his jersey on, baseball player, and people know who he is. But that's got some value to it. I'm not saying that's why you sign him. You sign yeah. him because he's a great player, but you get more. But do you think the Dodgers are going to be all in on Bryce Harper? I don't know. And, you know, that has not been their M.O. here. Um, I think, obviously, they have to explore it. You can't rule it out, see where it goes. I mean, they have to take care of Kershaw, I would think, as priority number one, because I'm expecting him to opt out, and you certainly want to keep him. But, no, I don't know that I would say the Dodgers are sir. I wouldn't call them a front runner by any means. But yeah. I think they would get in it and see where it goes. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.